Tim, the biggest question is what drove you to market and why was CargoWise the right solution for DHL? Well, maybe I should talk a bit about DHL first. So we are, or I'm responsible for DHL Global Forwarding, which is a part of the entire DHL family. And within our division, we have been a company which acquired some 20 years ago, large forwarders and brought them together. We integrated them, but we never really integrated on our IT systems that we had. So we rolled out IT Renewal Roadmap, and based on that program, we then had discussions to, to see what is the core application, which is the transport management system. So what's the best technical solution out there? Because we also felt we don't need to do everything for ourselves or by ourselves. And the other reason was what drives our customers, what do we need to do in future to be better? And I think in that case, we then also decided to go out with CargoWise 1 being our core, being our transport management system within DHL Global Forwarding. I've seen some fantastic LinkedIn posts with your team announcing their proud local CargoWise Go Lives. Um, how are you tracking with the global rollout? So our ocean freight organization, which used to be on the legacy system, is now on the cargo wise system, together also with the agents that used in the legacy system certain functionality. So ocean freight for us is more or less a tick in the box when it comes to taking over from the legacy systems. On the air freight side, we are still missing roughly seven countries, and we are planning to roll them out in Q1 and Q2 next year, latest Q2 next year. And if we have managed that, then we've done a real large rollout of a global transport management system being CargoWise 1. And we believe this is probably the fastest rollout of any straight forwarder of the size that we have. Uh, Tim, can you talk through the usage across the CargoWise platform and what benefit you're seeing both immediately and long term? Well, I think for us just to have a one global application is great already because a global application helps you to really make sure that the quality of your service is everywhere the same because you use one system, you don't use different systems. And also CargoWise gives you this one file transparency and transparency is actually the name of the game in our business. Our customers expect that we are able to ship something from A to B, but they also expect us to be transparent and have information around it. The information have to be clear with the shipment. And I think this is something else which CargoWise gives you, that transparency. What are some of the major ways this has changed how, we op how you operate today versus before CargoWise? It gives us the possibility to really support our business model that we have. We work on the hub and spoke model on the air and ocean freight side to make sure that we're able to consolidate strongly our shipments. And this is something which our legacy system didn't support us as well as CargoWise is supporting us with right now. This again paired with transparency, paired with a higher and better way of working, better quality of working is really important for us. Your approach to the global implementation of CargoWise has been a progressive, slower burn approach. Can you explain why this was the right choice for DHL and how are you managing the coexistence of multiple systems during the uh, rollout process? Well, as I outlined before, CargoWise is one system we are rolling out. We have our IT renewal roadmap, which is a multiple systems which we are rolling out. So we've deployed in a, we believe, controlled, but very well established way, but also making sure that our organization can follow the change because every system for a clerk is a different way of working and we wanted to make sure that they can follow, can embrace and understand also why we are doing certain things. Now on the coexistence, this was something which was a bit tricky for us, but I think we managed it very well in the way that we used shared service centers that we have in certain parts of the world to make sure that data flows correctly and that manual changes were being done. But also we saw on the air freight side, we go at air freight, when we bring in larger countries, these coexistences go away quickly and we immediately see the quality within the cargo wise system go up. COVID has brought unprecedented challenges to many businesses. How has CargoWise uh, supported your business during this time? Um, we had to go into a home office scenario pretty quickly in Q1 this year. And we could clearly identify and see that those countries who were already working with CargoWise were much better equipped and were able to go really quicker into the home office environment than those countries which were still running on the legacy system. So it was a real support for us and we were up in a way lucky if you can say put it that way that the pandemic hit us later in the rollout and not at the beginning of the rollout. So overall I think it was really good that we had cargo wise in this situation this year. 
The partnership between our two companies is something that I'm really proud of. Um, you and your team are helping drive CargoWise forward with product ideas and development investment. Your priorities have reshaped our roadmap. Um, Gateway is one good example. It was on the product roadmap, but it was a priority for DHL, so we accelerated development of, of the Gateway module. Why is this type of partnership important to you, and how does it change the dial for DHL? The way that both companies engage was very good because both companies, believe, I believe, could learn from each other. We could learn a lot on how to standardize things and make sure that a system which is best of breed in our, in our way of seeing it is really something which we can deliver into our organization. And I think from a Guise Tech perspective, it was good to see that the ideas that we have on how we run our business, because every freight forwarder runs this business in a different way. I mean, the, the business models around it are not really 100% comparable. And then we could also see the agility and the speed and how we could bring these functionality changes into the system to really support us. Can you share your thoughts on buy versus build, CargoWise product versus in-house development in the past? Well, as I explained, we have our IT renewal roadmap and some of the functionalities or programs there were ones that we built ourselves because we believed in having that also that knowledge about, around these functionalities or programs. But then we also followed the best of breed approach and on the TMS side, we really saw that what CargoWise delivers and the possibilities the system gives us is best of what you can get on the market. And that's why the question for us to build our own TMS system really didn't come up. We've heard comments about the experience of rolling out CargoWise internally can also assist in a cultural shift for digital transformation. How is this played across your organization? Well, I think, as I outlined a bit before, any new system is a change for the clerk and the management in a station, country, or in a region. And I think with CargoWise, this also is something where we have gone through a transformation of how we want to work in an organization. We want to digitalize more, have less paper, and do more modern things, and also attract more people, also younger talents to an organization. So I think CargoWise helped us a lot in making sure that we can start this journey, but to implement and deploy is one step. To continue the journey is not something which we have to do internally. But with the system, we have at least a basis now where we can really continue the transformation of our organization also when it comes on the question how we want to work in the future. DHL is taking uh, steps to digitize your customer experience. Uh, for example, earlier this year, you launched my DHLI. Congratulations on that, Tim. How did CargoWise support you in getting this enhanced customer offering out to the market? Well, thanks for the, for the congratulations. It was also one of the milestones in our IT renewal roadmap that we wanted to come up with a new digital offering for our customers, which gives our customers the transparency that they need also to be able to manage their transportation needs and requirements. And without a modern architecture, a modern system behind it, you're not able to give this kind of data quality to the customers. And that's where CargoWise played a really important role in being the, the basics to, to be able to develop my DHR. So at CargoWise, we have strong belief in content-based learning, uh, providing our customers with extensive e-learning and, and certification process. How have these processes approach supported the DHL implementation? Well, we started using the um, e, the e content learnings in the beginning, and also to to get the organization familiarized with the system. So, if you come from a legacy system, which is out of the 70s and 80s, and then go to something brand new, you have to bring the organization there. They have to see it. They have to touch it. They have to get a feel for it. So, in the beginning, we used these support functions very strongly, but then as we did, as we developed and as we gotten better in the understanding of the system, we also started to do more classwork training and classwork trainings with the organization because we also felt that we need to understand the system better. And especially if your groups get larger and if your countries or the organization gets more complex, it's better to have people in a room and really explain how things work. Can you talk how DHL worked with CargoWise partners to implement CargoWise across your global operations? In, in the beginning of the program, or the project, we worked together with partners of CargoWise who supported us. And also in smaller regions, smaller countries where we didn't have reach in the beginning. But over time, it got less and less because we really believe since this is our core system, we need to under, we better know how our core system works. We better know, we want to understand what the application can do and so on. So we took the, the knowledge that we bought that we built up over the last years and made sure that we have it in-house. And that's where we use the, 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 those partners less now, and probably even, even less in the future. 
So Tim, what does the future hold in store for our industry and what role do you see CargoWise playing and, and serving it? Well, I think the, the industry itself will go through a transformation that digitalization is going to be more and more important. Our customers um, are really interested in understanding if the data which comes with their shipment is as correct as the shipment arriving on time. And they also want to, I think, see the industry use the data in a much more different way than we are doing it today. And you can only get that kind of a service if you have, again, a system in place which gives you the basics to do these kind of things. And there again, I see CargoWise as one of the solutions in the market where you can do these things. Tim, that's all the questions I have for you today. Okay. Thank you for your insights and your time.